Hey, it's Brent. In this video, we'll cover some common rate issues you may see on our 4 Series sprayers and some things that you can do to alleviate those issues. Let's get started. There's really three main rate issues that you're going to see on our sprayer. Either the rate is going to fluctuate above and below target and never settle in on the target rate. Your, may, your rate may hang above our target rate, never come down to it, or your rate may hang below the target rate and never actually achieve it. To start with, the first thing we want to take a look at is our strainers. As you'll see pictured on the screen and identified on the sprayer, there's two places that our 4 series sprayers have a strainer. We have our pressure strainer and we have our boom strainer. Let's take a closer look. Starting with our pressure strainer, as we walk up to the middle of the sprayer, we'll see our pressure strainer is right here, right by our fill point. Pressure strainer is easy to access, it's a 50 mesh strainer and it's the first place that debris is going to be hung up uh, after it's in the solution system of the sprayer. Easy way to check it, make sure your solution pump is turned off. You can release the pressure on that strainer by using the valve right here. It's gonna purge that strainer out of the hose below. We can loosen our collar and remove that strainer. After we've removed that strainer and cleaned it, removed any debris, we can reinstall the strainer, making sure that we closed our bleed valve again so we don't leak solution out. Here at the back of the sprayer, we have our boom strainers. These are an 80 mesh strainer. These are further on down the line, but can also cause rate issues with our sprayer. As we walk up closer to these boom strainers, you can see that there's actually three strainers. We're gonna have a left boom main strainer, a right boom main strainer, and a center strainer. Again, same thing here. We wanna make sure our pump is turned off and we wanna relieve the pressure in the system. We can use these purge valves down below, purge both filters, remove the collar, take the filters off, Make sure we get them clean, reinstall, and again, after reinstallation, make sure that our purge valves are closed again so that we don't leak solution all over. What are the strainers, what kind of rate issues can our strainers cause? Generally, our strainers will cause issues with achieving rate. And in, instead of the sprayer reaching that target rate that we're set for, if our strainers are plugged up or are restricted, we'll find that our pump can't overpressure the strainer and will hang below our target rate and never achieve it. One of the other things on our sprayer that commonly can cause some rate issues is our orifice valve. You'll see our orifice valve as indicated on the screen by the arrow. That orifice valve can either be opened or closed. Let's move in a little bit closer. So you can see indicated below that orifice valve by the sticker, if we're over 26 gallons a minute, we want that valve to be open like it is right now. If we're under 26 gallons a minute, we want that orifice valve to be closed. Just take that handle move it down and close it. So what happens when we open and close that valve? Let's take a look inside of that valve. You'll see on the two pictures on the screen there's an open valve and a closed valve. So when that valve is open it's full open and the solution plumbing is wide open. When that valve is closed it's actually got a hole drilled through the middle of the closed side of the valve and it significantly reduces the size of that hole. By doing that since we run large plumbing we actually restrict the flow a little bit and we keep our flow meter full, which is sitting right here, as you can see, behind that orifice valve or closer to the pump. By closing down that orifice valve, we reduce the amount of flow through it. We keep our plumbing full and the solution doesn't surge through our flow meter and cause rate issues. This orifice valve is really going to be able to cause two rate issues depending on what's going on. If our orifice valve by flow should be open but is closed, it can present itself very similar to a plug strainer. In that case, our flow would be so restricted that our orifice valve would be holding our flow back and we wouldn't be able to achieve rate. The opposite scenario would be if that orifice valve is open, but by flow should actually be closed. In that case, we're not holding enough back pressure in our system. We're not holding enough solution in our flow meter. Our flow meter is able to gurgle, speed up and slow down, and it causes rate fluctuations where we won't be able to hold our target rate and we'll just go above and below and above and below. How do we know if we're at 26 gallons a minute uh, or more? It's a very easy way to tell from the cab. Let's move inside. From inside of the cab, there's a couple easy ways to tell where that orifice valve should be. The first way is to look right on the screen where you're spraying. Right below that solution tank, you can see gallons per minute displayed here. So as you're going through the field, you'll be able to get a feel for what your average gallons per minute are. If you're trending more above 26 gallons a minute, uh, or you're always below 26 gallons a minute, you'll be able to make that decision. 
Another easy way to determine whether or not that orifice valve should be opened or closed is to use the tool that's on the sprayer. There's two ways to access that tool. Either we can go to our menu. Under machine settings, we'll scroll down, find spray system. The other place you'd be able to access this screen from is by pressing the hard key below the display. You'll see on the panel below the display, we've got an icon that looks just like that menu icon for our spray system. By pressing this button, this button, it will bring us to the same place. Here under spray system, we'll find our flow rate mode. It shows right now is in low flow. This is a change on our four series sprayers from previous models, is in this sprayer, when we open or close that orifice valve, we need to tell the system that that orifice valve is open or close so that the system knows how to respond or react. So underneath that flow rate mode, if we look at that, we can see we have a standard flow option or low flow option. And right down here on the bottom left corner is recommendations. If we press recommendations, we can see we can enter our working speed and our target rate. So if I'm planning on spraying at 15 miles per hour at five gallons per acre, it's gonna tell me that my orifice valve should be closed. However, if I'm gonna bump my rate to 10 gallons an acre, it tells me that my orifice valve should be open. In that case, I would set it for standard flow here, and I would go outside the sprayer and make sure that orifice valve is open. One of the final rate issues that we can see is an instance where our rate's not able to come down to our target rate. So maybe our target rate is five gallons an acre and we can't hit anything below six. Right here on the screen, we see a minimum pressure. That minimum pressure is gonna tell the system how low the pressure can go before it just holds it at that point. So on our conventional sprayer, as we speed up, our pressure is gonna increase. And as we slow down, our pressure is gonna decrease at the nozzle. So if we have our minimum pressure set too high, uh, in some cases we'll see a minimum pressure that accidentally gets set up at that 30 or 40 PSI. In that case, if we're not going fast enough or we have an improperly matched nozzle, we'll see that our minimum pressure is restricting how low the pump can go and it will hold that rate above target. Having gone through all of these different things to look at, the next time you're in your sprayer and you're having rate issues, take a look at one of these things. You may have a plug strainer. You may have an orifice valve that's in the incorrect position or your minimum spray pressure may not be set correctly for the nozzles, speed, and rate you want to achieve. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.